Hi, this is George Cow, and I created a tool today that will help you figure out what your minimum hourly rate for paid client work must be if you want your business to be personally sustainable for you. And this tool is free and available online. Uh, I will include the links below the video. So let me show you how to use it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just fill out the areas that are highlighted here and you let the rest of the spreadsheet do the work. The formulas are all um, calculated in there. Okay, so we first start with how many weeks do you want to work in a row before you take a vacation? Okay, this is important. This is sort of in part life coaching, right? Because if you do not take regular breaks, you will have be at risk of burnout or at least losing the passion for your work and also not giving you the chance to have a change of pace, which is really important for your brain, your body to be more creative and really just to be, um, have, a, have a new perspective on your work. And you bring that kind of, when you can bring that kind of creativity, new perspective, new energy, because rest is important um, to your clients, you do a better job for them. So uh, for me, I take, uh, a vacation after every 12 weeks of work and I basically take two weeks off. I don't necessarily go anywhere. I just do usually stay uh, and go to more parks and, and rest more. So that's what I recommend. Um, every 12 weeks, take two weeks off. Now you may not need that much. Maybe you need more uh, depending on your energy level and, and your, your how intense your work is. Okay. All right. So that basically calculates, it rounds up so it basically, if, if, if you put these numbers in, in here, that means in a 52 week year, you basically take about eight weeks of vacation. It's actually, again, rounded up. So there's a bit of buffer in there, maybe one or two weeks buffer, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's not far from the actual numbers. So it's safe to, to assume that. Okay, the next section is how many times do you enroll new clients per year? I don't recommend a business model where you're trying to enroll clients all the time through the whole year. It's good to have launches where you really make a concerted intentional effort to let your prospective clients know, to let your audience know that you're available to enroll clients again. And for example, I have three and six month programs. Turns out that most of my clients opt for six months, so I basically enroll twice a year. Doesn't mean I don't allow other clients to come to me during the year, but I definitely uh, only their space, but it's, I make the concert rest of the year. I'm serving clients, creating free content like this, but just twice a year. And then my enrollment period is about two weeks. So in two weeks in, in those two weeks, twice a year, I don't meet with clients. I focus on interviewing prospective clients, uh, doing launch emails, that kind of thing. Okay. And then, so after calculating for these things, that means my number of paid client weeks that I basically number of weeks I work per year where I'm serving clients uh, is 40 weeks. Okay. So that's based on these numbers. These numbers obviously change if you, if you, if you change uh, the, the, yeah, the calculation change. Okay. So that, and then the next question is how many hours per week of paid client time do you want to have? For me, I'm basically wanting to work 14 hours of paid clients per week, but because of sometimes, uh, you know, clients emergency need to cancel or reschedule or something. I give myself a little buffer. So I'm just going to count 12 weeks per 12 hours per week of paid client time. I think that's really reasonable for kind of work life balance and kind of focused energy on client time, that kind of thing. So that's the total hours, therefore annual uh, for if you do all the, all the calculations are taken care of automatically for you. And finally, we get to how much do you need to earn per month from your client work? By the way, these are not my numbers. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. It supports my uh, lifestyle and ability to serve my clients well, but I need to earn considerably more than that. But uh, many people, 4,000 a month, uh, that covers your business expenses as well. So put in the number here that makes sense for you. Uh, how much of that 4,000 a month is business expenses? So let's say you get some coaching, you have pay some for software, whatever else you pay for, say 500 bucks a month. Again, you can change these numbers. What is your tax bracket, tax percentage? That's pretty high if, if, this, if it's 4,000 a month, but I'm just going to be conservative here and say 30%. You can always put that money into savings if you don't need to pay that much taxes. 
So you end up with, uh, if you, these numbers are, are yours, you end up with $60,600 um, per year that you need to earn from client work in order to be able to end up with $4,000 um, take home after paying taxes. And uh, from that 4000 you also pay some business expenses. So that means, g given the number of paid client hours you have per year and how much you would need to earn, you need to charge at least $126 per client hour and that's a minimum so you can charge more based on your skills and the value you bring to your clients but that's kind of like the bottom uh, if you're doing a discounted or you know discount or, or large package what it ends up being just just so do these numbers for yourself and see what you come up with for the minimum um, per hourly rate for you and I'm always open to your questions and comments and I hope this is helpful so the tool is located beneath the video as links and uh, until the next video, I wish you well.